Hello and welcome to another devlog. I know it's been a while since the last update, but I promise I haven't given up on this project. A lot of my time went to bug fixes and improvements behind the scenes that wouldn't have made great content for a video, but part of the delay is also due to me procrastinating. I do have some changes to share, starting with the new character that I'm modeling in the video right now. I decided to go for more of a cartoon or clay style character. I decided to take this route because I thought it might be easier for me to get the game ready. Since the art is already what takes me the longest, I figured simplifying it might help me out. Especially since most of what I have left to work on is art. I still need to finish the models I do have, then texture all of them. And then on top of that, I still have to do all the UI and the menus. A lot of that's probably going to happen at the end of the project, since I intended to just use this as something to learn from, but I definitely want to polish it as much as I can. Another change I made recently is to make the value of each fish dependent on not only the type, but also the weight. So now each type of fish will have both a range of weights that it can be, and a range of values. At this point I haven't decided yet if I want to include line weight as an upgrade. It would end up acting like an obstacle that prevents you from catching larger fish until you buy the upgrades. On one hand, the whole goal of the game is to catch and sell fish so you can buy the upgrades that then let you catch different types of fish. But I think it could be pretty annoying at the beginning of the game when a lot of the fish get away from you. I'll probably end up adding the mechanic in and then just decide whether I like it later. I also finally added a proper shop for the player to buy upgrades when they have the money, and working on it made it very apparent that I need to learn more about menus and UI. I populate all the buttons in the shop from a script, and I had a lot of trouble getting it to put the buttons in the right spot. Then once I figured that out, I couldn't get the upgrades to save when I switch scenes. So it was basically like the player dropped all their tools in the ocean at the end of the day. This was one of the cases where I went back and simplified my code, and it made things work so much better. With the shop in place, I wanted to go through the process to see what it was like to add a new upgrade. So I decided I'll add the motor upgrades in. The idea here is that you start with paddles, which is why I made the movement intermittent to start with. And then by the time you get the first upgrade, you'll have a motor, so the movement is more constant. Then each upgrade after that is going to increase the speed. Once you have access to a motor, there's a few problems. Mainly, the island is no longer an obstacle, and you can send your boat flying right over it. I think the simplest solution would be to just add a wall all the way around the island. At this point, my primary focus is going to be on adding in some more upgrades, creating the different types of fish, and finishing up the art. If you have any ideas, be sure to put it in the comments below, and if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.